Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. This is Friday, February 16th. And looking at the grid, I see 7, 8 in the top three rows, then 3, 8, another 3, so 11 in the middle three rows, that's 19. Then another 7 in the bottom three rows, that's 26. So, there may be a lot of digits interacting. And so this will be some interesting solve strategies. Okay, in the top three rows, I have a 9 and a 5 that repeat themselves. 5 in rows 1 and 2 tells me I can place a 5 in one of two spots in row 3. I can place a 9 in one of two spots, so oh, not here, so the 9 is actually placed in box 2. This 9 and this 9 can follow up to put a 9 there. In the middle three rows, okay, I can put a 9 in row 6. I can put a 6 in row 4. I think that's all I get. If I take 9 and 6 out, then 2, 7, 3, 5, 1, 8, no. This 3 and this 3, and this 3 looks up, so 3 is placed in box 6. So I'll place a 3 in one of these two. These three, this three, and those threes. And then in the bottom rows, I can place a three in two spots. I can place a seven in two spots in the box. Oh, three and seven are in box seven, so that gives me three digits in that box, which will be interesting. But I think that's all I get on the bottom three rows. Now I have to look vertically. Okay, 8 is somewhere in column 1, because I know where it is in 2 and 3. 2 is in one of two places in column 2. And that gives me four digits placed, because 1, 2, 3, and 7 are all known. Hmm. So that gives you four digits in that box. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Anyway, uh, anyway, so these sevens force a seven there. Uh, these nines, as already mentioned, force a nine there. Oh, and we have all three threes. How generous of them! But I can put a 5, based on these and this, in one of those two. And in the rightmost three columns, 3's uh, I've already placed, 9's I have not. 6 will go in one of those two. That's uh, 9... If I get rid of 4 and 9, then I've got 5, oh, and 3, then I've got 5, 1, 2, 6, and 7 up here. It's 2 and 7 appearing once each. Okay, I think I'm done there, so let's look at restricted cells. Box 5, as well as row 5, both have 5 digits in them. So let's start there. 3, 5, 6, 7, 9, I need 1, 2, 4, and 8. And this sees 8, so this is 1, 2, 4. This sees 1, so this is 2, 4, 8. And these both see 2 and nothing else, so this is 1, 4, 8. Now that was not helpful. Uh, in row 5, well, at 2, 4, and 8, none of them interact with row 5 either. 1, 3, 5, 6, 9 says I need 2, 4, 7, and 8. Well, well both of those can, can't, can't be 2 or 8. That's a 4, 7 pair, so this is not 4. Therefore, this is 2 or 8. Now, well, that was not helpful. Well, let's see. Let me fill out box 7, because that's rather restricted. We start with 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well... These can't be 2 or 3, 
by row logic. None of these are 3, 6, or 7, also by row logic, and none of these are 7. Okay, this one's not 8. This isn't 2. This isn't 8 or 9. This isn't 2 or 8. 2 or 3, not 8 or 9, not 2 or 8. Okay. Two's there and nowhere else in the box or column that I can see. Three's here, and the same scenario applies. Now, three, five, seven, nine in column four says I need one plus the even digits. He's 4 and 8, but nothing else. Okay, this is 1, 2, 6. Interesting. Alright, so these can't be 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, so these are 1, 2, 6, and 7. Well, that's not 7. That's not 1 or 2, and that's not 2. like the fact that I've only had two given digits to this point. This is not promising. Now those cells cannot be 1, 8, or 9. This takes out 2 and 5 by row. This takes out 2, 3, and 7 all by row. Oh, and this can't be 4 because the 4-7 pair in the box. Now let's see. 2, 3, 4, 7, 8. So I need 1, 5, 6, and 9 for the remainder of box 4. Well, those aren't six, but those are two-thirds of a one-five-nine. Interesting. Okay, and this is one-five or six. It can't be nine. Because I corner-marked nine in one of two spots. Oh, annoyingly, one can be in three spots. And they turn a corner in box four. That's not helpful. Um... Unfortunately, this could be 4 or 8, this could be 4 or 8. This could also be 4 or 8. So 2, 3, 7, 9. Well, it can't be 1. 2, 3. Could be 4. I think it could be 5. Can't be 6. Can't be 7. Or 9. So this is 4, 5, 8 only. Interesting. Okay, these, let's see, 3, 6, 8, and the only thing that repeats in here is an 8. So I've got 8, one of two offset spots. I do not like those offset pairs. Okay, anyway, uh, these are not 1, 3, 6, or 9, or 8. 1, 3, 6, 9 by box, 8 by row logic. So 2, 4, 5, and 7, of which that's not 4, that's not 2, that's not 5 or 7. Let's see, other than 7 and one of those, I get nothing useful out of that whatsoever. Column 8 has 1, 2, 3, 9. 
Okay, I need four through eight inclusive, and the only thing it's going to... Oh. Well, this is two-thirds of a six, seven, eight, but I'm not going to get the other third of it. This is four, five, or eight, because it can't be six or seven. Two-thirds of a four, five, eight, and two-thirds of a six, seven, eight, but I... But there's nothing that interacts with it. <coughs> hmm. I'm rapidly running out of candidates for things to fill in. Three, six, seven, and nine in column five. Two, five. Oh, there's another one, four, eight. Interesting. Well, we already knew that was a one, four, eight. I just reiterated it. I have way too many digits that are way too many possibilities. Oofta. Two, three, six, and seven. I need one, four, five, eight, nine for box nine. And then three, five, six, and seven, along with nine. I think it's three. Because I need one in the even digits except for six, but no, neither of those can be four. This isn't two. Let's see. These are not 3, 5, or 7, so 1 and 9 are possible, along with 2, 4, 6, and 8. And then these cells, are not 2, 5, or 9, so... Okay, these cells are not 2, 8, or 9. But that one only gets rid of 3. These... Three, five, nine are out. 4, 5, 6 are out, along with 9. Okay, now everything is filled in. And I may have obfuscated things a little bit. Okay. Mm. Annoyingly, 8 turns a corner, so does 1. Okay, 2's in an offset pair, which I don't like. See nine here and seven here, and nothing else in the row is seven or nine. Seven or nine. Yeah, the two is there. Two is in way too many spots in box six. Yeah, I think we might... I'm not sure if I'm going to get any better on a second go of this. <coughs> I mean, three has to be one of these, and two has to be one of these. But there's no easy way to dis disambiguate which is which. 
See, the 7 goes across there, and the 8 goes across here. There's nothing else in column 1 for 8, nothing else in row 7 for the digit 7. See, this 9 is a column 9. This 9 is also a column 9. Yeah. This is very, very difficult to think that... I think this is the same position I ended up in yesterday and totally managed to get lost in. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to have to get rid of most of this grid and start again. <laughs> because there's no red markings anywhere, and I have way too many possibilities with too many digits. Also because it's, I've got these two in box five and an eight in box six. All right, wait a minute. Okay, this, this two looks in, and this two looks up. So two is one of these two. Specifically, it can't go here and it can't go here. So this virtual two in the row and that two says two is definitely one of those, which means none of these are two. Okay, that gives me a one four eight triple, and that's what I was missing because this can't be four or eight now. That's a five. The rest of this should start unwinding really fast. Two eight. Um, these are a 1-4 pair, so this is a 2. And now that's a 2, because these are 1-6-7, and that's a triple. Uh, what? Oh. This 2 means this isn't 2, and that, therefore, this cell is. Seven, that's not going to help me there. Okay, those eights are gone, as is that one. This is a one four eight triple here that I just identified. So that's forced to be a two, because it can't be five. Now these aren't two. Most importantly, this is not two, so this cell is. Eight, which means that, that can't be eight. Let's see. Neither of these are 2 or 8 by column 
one two my box also that's not eight those aren't eight and these aren't eight oh two makes this a four and these are not four five seven makes this an eight Six, seven pair here makes that five because it can't be seven, so that's seven. Five makes this four. Uh, that's forced to be nine. That's forced to be one. That's forced to be a five. These are left as a one, three, which forces that to be an eight. I can get rid of the corner marks there. Eight makes this cell not eight. Let's see, nine means this is a nine. either. So that's a 1-9 pair. Which means this isn't 1. No, 1-4 one, one, also means that's not 1. Well, that's the only place for 7. Four eights interacting. Interesting. Actually, no, these can't be eight. Eight's forced to be here, which means this is not eight. No, that's a one four pair, which means that's so on eight. These aren't one. That goes that. And I keep not switching modes on me. And now I've got these one fours that are interacting with each other. Hmm. Oh, seven there means that's finally resolved. Four, seven. That should get me somewhere. One makes this nine one out of the picture. That's not four. No, three six there means that's a five. No, this seven means that that's not seven, therefore that one is. Six, so that's forced to be an eight, and this is not. Okay, that's down to a four five, that's down to a three six. That still has too many things on it, but eight means this is an eight, and that one is. Uh, yeah, it can't be six or eight, that's one. That's going to sort out all my one fours finally. That's three to complete the box. This now isn't three or six. That's four to be a nine, which makes that five. Six makes four, nine, six. There we go. Well, it took me forever to figure out that a two had to be in one of these two things. Because I wasn't scanning this two, this two, and that one. But once I figured out that the two had to be there, 
and with this too, which forced a two in one of these spots, the rest of it fell apart relatively easily after that. 